back at school to a fish. A little quick update on what they got going on right here. This is what I'm coming to get today. I'm coming to get that big boy today. Yes, Lord. I'm coming to get that today. This big old fire hill. Yeah, he gonna part with that, guys. So don't ask. Cause you got you covered on, you know, tanks for sale. I wouldn't mind having this one. I wouldn't mind having it. 75, 400, that's a decent price. 75 gallons, okay. Got you on the plants. He's always at work around here, guys, man. I'm trying to tell you, he, he, he stay at work. Got you covered on your stingray game. I don't know what's in these rubber bait totes. Look like some coy. Oh yeah, we got you covered. He must have sold real good on them stingrays. They gone. Big 200 gallon. Shop mask off, wheel bike. What's up guy? What you doing, man? Big old Baisha. It's a big boy. I like this. Good God, I like this tank. Man, I like this tank. That thing gotta be eight feet. Gotta be eight feet. This goes. Turtles. Crocodile skink. I wonder if we're gonna see them. Somewhere in there. He's always changing this thing. It's always some changing about this room. I mean, he's got this place upgraded all the time. All the time. Hog nose. What you snake lovers? You got Pac Man's. A Bano Pac Man. Okay. I ain't opening these, but he got some in there. Geckos. Okay. We got you covered, man. What you got here? It's a nice little layout. Nice little tropical layout. I don't know what's in here. I know it's some fish in there. Some fish in there, but I don't know what else in there. Beardy. Got the bearded. Classic beardy. Okay, okay, okay. How you doing? Sevens. Oh, look at that rainbow. God dang. I like them. And some nice size rainbow. I wonder where he sell them. Uh, I don't know if he's selling them rainbows, guys, but them things are crazy. Uh, uh, archer fish? Got you on your archer, man. I think he's waiting on a shipment. Uh oh, Red Texas, god damn. Oh man, I might have to get you, buddy. He's got a red, that's my favorite fish, guys, a Red Texas. He's got a somewhat faded one. 
It's not a full fade, but it's somewhat faded. I like him, man. 60 bucks for the giant garami. I don't know if I'm ready for garamis, man. Them things get too big. They're like puppies, though. <laughs> Tiger Bugs. Got some Earl Barnes, though. Look like I might have to come get one of them, boy. Might have to come get one of them, boy. I might get one of them today. Why are you playing? Rope fish. Don't sleep on these. These will eat, eat worms and everything. Got some pikes. Display tank, nice. Look at this thing. Plant, man. Good God. This plant is massive. I like these tanks. Wild discus. I don't see none. This thing is nice. King snake. I don't know where he at. It's too high for me to. Oh, we got some bearded. $29. $89. All about to say. Okay. We got a silver dollar. I think it's a yeah, blackberry silver dollar. What kind of catfish is those? Gold Cynodonis catfish. Oh, snap. I like them. That's a big bowl's money in there. Wonder what he part ways with that. I'm starting to see them all over the place now. What these is. Couldn't tell you what those are. I gotta hurry up and load my tank up so we can go. Cause uh we got some um rose lines, I think. Are these rose lines? I don't think I think they're rose lines. Some type of got some severins. Got some angels on this side. Mm -hmm. oh, they got plenty for me to load the tank up with some blue, a little electric blue Dempsey. Ten, uh, is that, is them flag tails? Yeah, I'm flag tails. What is that? Oh, oh that must be the Atabapo. That must be the Atabapo pike. Wonder how much they going for. Got some geophages, some geos, savini, some parrots. This way I got the marble gobi from that time, guys. More geophages. He said he got some calvis for me. I'm gonna go check. Them look nice. I don't know what those are. Must be some Africans. This is saltwater stuff. Red front toes. Calvis, I don't see him. Got some Calvis or some comps that he said he got for me. Hey, Rama, where's the Calvis or, or the or comps to show you how you have? Okay, small. Okay. The ink fin or you said Congo or ink fin? Black. 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 
I can get Gold Head next week. Yeah, I, I, I want him if you could find him. Sazzy, Saz like three, three inch, two inch. Price shoots up a lot. Yeah, it, it is what it is. That I, it's so, they take so long to grow. I, I'd hate to put anything along with them because most of the stuff I would put with them are already going to be sizey. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm doing my take and eat and ship it. So we're getting take and eat and selling. You want to um do it do it do it do it, do it the intro? Just tell, tell them tell them who you are. Okay. Uh, so my name is Ramon Sabakan, owner of Schools of Fish. Uh, we've been in business since uh, 2009. Uh, we specialize in hard to find freshwater fish for. Uh, Volume seller, you get a lot of fish in during the week. We're con currently going through a lot of construction, so there's a lot of things that's being renovated right now. We don't mind some of the tanks, but uh, yeah, we get in uh, orders pretty much weekly. We specialize in very hard to find fish. We got a shipment coming in from Thailand, have about 15 stingrays coming in. Uh, we service you know the Central Virginia area. We have a lot of customers from Richmond, Charlottesville, Fredericksburg come from far away to get fish. Um, we do a lot of special ordering. We sell salt water, reptiles, plants, tropical plants, and bog plants also. We just try to accommodate out everybody's needs. Uh, like I said, we got a lot of fish in. Uh, I just got back from Florida um, last week. I go to Florida about once or twice a year, and I load up from uh, my fish farms. Uh, so we bought a bunch of stuff, but we surprisingly sold out a lot of stuff. So I just got some cleanup orders, stuff that's been selling out fast, like the wild discus. Mm -hmm. You know, we try to keep it interesting. Uh, you can check it us check us out on Facebook and Instagram. That's S K O O L Z Schools of Fish, and uh, yeah, check us out. Anything you need. Uh, the address is uh, 8073 Mechanicsville Turnpike. Picking up more materials. Alright, so we got that bad boy set in its corner where I'm going to leave it. And um, we're loading her up. Got the black background painted. I got, I got the uh, ceiling crate. It's almost a dang near perfect fit, but I have to cut a little, little bit and customize. And I'm going to run across the street here at the other house and get this light for this, uh, this aquarium. I really want to put my Eheim 2262 on here, but it's just... That thing is so strong. I, I, if I had a way to turn the, the, the pressure down, I would. Oh, I'm seeing something. I think this thing is going to be uneven. It looks. I don't know. It seems to look level from right here. I know the house that way, on this side, this way is uh, uneven. But when I lay it right here, I, I, I felt slight wobble. I'm thinking we might, I don't know, it's starting to look like it's uneven. And that could be bad. We're going to fill it up, see what it does. Fill her up, fill her up, fill her up. I got the special egg crate for you guys. On the top of there. I'm going to customize and cut holes as I please to suit my needs and put my hoses and pumps. I got a uh, Marine Land canister filter that came with the whole deal. Um, Rama's pretty good about uh, making deals. Guys, you might want to go check them out. <laughs> you never know what you're finding there. Um, where is the... This door, all I got to do is screw that back on and bam, it's back there. You know what I mean? I'm not worried about that. That's a couple of screws and it's back in. Oh, this TV is good. Yeah, it's loading up. Alright. Oh man, I did not equate for the size of this dang on. I'm gonna put the stilts on the back. And I really need to have space for it. Ooh, I hope this fits. I hope this fits. Because if it don't, I am in trouble. It fits. It fits. It fits quite fantastically. Oh, I still space back there. Yeah, it's good to go. 
We're good to go. Yeah, quick filter. I'm going to put a UV um, bulb in that, like I got in the one on the 55 gallon, to keep the water clear because I don't feel like pimping the canister that came with it. And the canister I'm going to buy that's coming with this thing is going to have a built in uh, UV bulb, which is the HB5000 Sun Sun. So yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. But for now, I'll run this hang on the back with the with the UV light in it and um, to the uh, I get the uh, the upgrade. It's so it sucks I can't use the Sun Sun 704B on this aquarium because it'll be the perfect it'll be the perfect uh, it'll be the perfect filter for it because it has the UV bulb. It can pump uh, 700 gallons per hour I think or something like that. Man, it'd be the perfect filter. But it's somehow it keeps leaking, so I'm gonna take it to Rama and see if he can pimp, pimp, pimp it and see if it, if he can, you know, do something to it. So far, so good. Looks like it's straight even across. Even from the side, looks straight. So we're good to go there. My damn cup at Tracy out there having a lounge for him. Lounge for him. This water, I don't have any. You know what? Let me, let me make a couple of changes real quick. I can, I can try to do a water change. I don't know if I'll be a success, but I don't want to be. But let's try to get some of this water out of here. Let's try to get some of this water in here and get some chemistry in that tank. Why don't we? Put some good chemistry in this tank. Put some of this water in there from the other tank. Right, well, I can show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a whole water change just by doing this. I'm gonna take some water out of the 55 gallon, put some of that good bacteria in there. And in turn, we would have done a slight water change and we would have, have jump started this aquarium that much better. Yes, sir. We almost full. Let's try to hurry up and get some of this water out of here. It's probably, it's probably all up well. Let me get one more bucket. One more bucket to mix in. One more bucket. And I'll be satisfied. And that'll be, this will suffice as a water change for the 55. And I would have put a little bit of a jump stop on the 120 gallon five foot aquarium. Gotta think outside the box, guys, when we doing this stuff. It's crazy. I was gonna need to do a water change to that 55 gallon anyway. But that water is gonna help jump start. This is perfect. Good kudos, kudos to me for that. Oh, I'm loving how fast it's filling up. 
I can already see the potential, man. Once I get the rocks in there, get everything running, get it flowing, it's served. Big potential here. I'm going to go ahead and really cut this off. So what y'all think I should put, put, put in this aquarium? I got the Marble Goby, I got the convicts going in. What else? What else could we put? Oscars, Arowana, Peacock Bass. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Hey look, like, comment, subscribe, man, because I can't do big things like this if y'all don't. Come on, man. I know it's probably unprofessional. You probably don't even see my head right now. But that's all good, though. We making do what we got. We making do with what we got. More. This is starting to spray all over the place. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, we got still got a little sand in there. I ain't tripped about that. Good bacteria off that sand gonna help jumpstart this spray, man. I got After I get it filled up, I'm gonna scrub it all down and let the filter catch all the you know remains. I mean somehow I, I feel like washing the tank down before you set it up. You leave it out all this good bacteria that's left over. Let's get that stuff and help jumpstart the aquarium. Anything to jumpstart the aquarium. It's just me. I think previous bacteria will help. This tank obviously was built in 2014, February. I can see the sticker back there. And it's, it's already been resealed. So that's a good deal right there for me. Judging if Rama did it, I'm pretty sure it's gonna last a while. Because this tank, I'm used to six foot aquariums, and it's a five foot, but it's it looks awesome though. This is an awesome aquarium. I might stop it. Yeah, I'm gonna fill it all the way up because I don't want the splash to get on my nerves. But I'm gonna end up having to lower the water because of the rocks and whatever else I might put in there. But I'm gonna fill it all the way up for now because I don't want to hear that splashing sound. I just don't want to hear it. So we'll be ready to go turn this off in a second. Get this thing to build all the way up because I went all the way up before I start doing anything to it. And of course, the rocks, like I said, I'm gonna probably go out here and wash some rocks today and put some in. And that's gonna raise it up anyway, so I have to reduce it. But I'm glad I just did, I just got some of that good bacteria from out of that tank. It's an established tank. That tank's been set up since I was over at the other house, so. Yeah, she got some. I like that some. Okay. I'm gonna go out here in a second and shut it off because uh, we're almost there. I like this stand though. I should have spray painted it again. I'm, I'm, I may just wipe it down, see how it looks. It looks a bit ashy, which I can deal with. It's not the worst thing in the world. A little light for us. I don't know how much that helps. Yep, so this crate right here can be bought at the local where hardware store. And um right now I'm just cutting it down the size so I can make a uh and I'm making a mess. This stuff is gonna be all over the floor. That's all right, I'll sweep it up. But I guess that's the win for me, because uh, I don't have to go and buy cut custom tops. I can get some stuff right now, DIY, and readily available. And I can just cut it down to size. All you do is take, you know, pair of hard, hard, heavy duty 
cutters, wire cutters, anything like that, and just clip them away. And, uh, and this stuff is going to be everywhere. I got going. I, I even saw one going to tank. Oh my god, I'm about to get, get that. <laughs> yeah, so you cut it down to size, and you know the mesh grill. This even you can take this and. Hey, for some of you guys in saltwater, you can take this and build frag tanks. You know, you can take this strip right here, frag tank it out. So now I got my lid. Now all I gotta do is put it right here and measure out how uh, how uh, far I need to cut into so right here. So I'm probably gonna cut, to be honest with you, I'm gonna probably cut about right here because I want it to hang off a little bit. So I'm gonna cut my right here. I don't want it to completely sit in there. And this, like I said, you, you could take the rest of this and make it and do some other things to it. <laughs> you will make it and do some other things to it. But, oh my God, this is gonna be a heavy cleanup. Show you. Yeah, you go ahead and get your, and there you go. You got, you got another whole section that you can. <laughs> man, that might fit on you know, standard square. Uh -huh. This is one section of the um, 125, 20 gallon. And this is a uh, Plasco Light, um, and this is at Home D Depot. This is what they put in the roofs, and uh, yeah, it's called Plasco Light. And they put this in the roof uh, of most commercial buildings, and um, for air to come through. But we can cave and DIY it for the uh, aquarium community. So yeah, you guys. Go get you. I think I paid a whole twenty dollars for this sheet, and the sheet as long as this one right here. And um, you just cut it down to size, man. Whatever you need. And we're filthy right now because I ran the other filter in here while um, I didn't clean it. I wanted to get the beneficial bacteria out that filter. I really did. So I'm gonna take. The fogginess for right now. I got a UV bulb on it. I don't care. I just wanted that beneficial bacteria from that filter to jumpstart this aquarium. So, if I had to drop it down 25% and put some more water in it, I'm cool with that. That too. Yep, yep, yep. So we're gonna figure out what's going on next. Alrighty, let's go ahead and the ray off. Let's go ahead and end her off. Big boy. I got the big boy. Ooh, we got these guys looking a little bit better. I'm still I'm still working on these guys. And um only oh, doing a little bath. I got my kids and put this nasty water. I don't know why they put looks to be to me nasty water. These kids are so bad with cleaning up. But anyway, we got them cleaned up and um Bam! We got to help that piece of driftwood float down, and the water's still uh foggy. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm cool with that. Like I said, this is good, good chemistry, and um a lot of that uh a lot of that uh dirt from that filter is uh gonna help jump start this aquarium we got these egg crates up here that's fitting nice and neat oh yeah i'm gonna still be cutting some some holes into them to fit stuff in that's from the little 10 gallon aquarium right there which they will be going to the 55 and um yeah and i got the canister filter on this aquarium running with some nice flow so i ain't tripping it's a marine land it's doing its thing and it's crazy because this looks clearer 
than when it looks on camera. It, it's it's looking clearer on camera than it does actually in front of me. So hopefully, you know, once we do another video, we got some stuff in here, some fish in here, which uh, all of these guys are going in there, which the Marble Gobi and the convicts, yeah, they're all going in there. I almost got a silver arrow wine the other day, and I had to hold off because I gotta, I gotta, I got, I really gotta think about the the stock that's going to go in this tank because I'm gonna upgrade these guys to here and these guys to here. So I, I really gotta take my time and just move slow and just think about how I'm gonna do things. But at the end of the day. There she is, man. 120 full foot aquarium. You can see that little light beaming up off the uh, filter there. That's the UVB lub. Getting that thing clear for me. Guys, we about to do some big things from here on out. We got this one aquarium. Man, it's so hard to not get an eight foot aquarium. But I think at least a six foot aquarium next. One more tank and it's going to be a six foot at least. Finally got that thing finished. She looking good now. She clearing up good. Gotta still gotta put my door on. I gotta go get, get my drill from across the street. But yeah, she clearing up. She's clearing up. Like I said, Marine Land. No cheap Walmart filter, but I threw my UV uh, light in there. Can't wait to put my monsters in here. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching.